Greetings folks, I'm going to demonstrate camera switching, analog camera switching uh, on the Speedy B F405 wing mini board. That was listed as one of the extra features on this board. Uh, it, it's not available with the stock firmware. Uh, you need to upgrade to, or they say you needed to upgrade to uh, INF7. I tried INF7 but it still wasn't there and the truth of the matter is it didn't actually make it to the uh, uh, the first release of INAV 7, it's going to be an INAV 7.1 but SpeedyB have included the firmware on their product page if you scroll down to the bottom of the product page next to the manual they've now included the hex file for INAV and RGPilot to uh, bring camera switching or the user mode uh, to INAV 7 anyway let's go for a fly and see how it looks Got some lines in the view there. There we are looking back. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We should do this in um, not in acro mode, we should do it in angle mode. There we go, now the plane will take care of itself. Or cruise mode of course. But I have this on a momentary switch. Whoops, got too low down below the <laughs> cliff there. Hit return to home and uh, all is good. All right, let's fly around again. There we go, there's the view. Cruise mode is probably the best mode. <laughs> Getting a better view out of the rear camera than the front camera. No, they're pretty good actually, no, they're pretty good. A few lines there uh, to be expected using VBAT. Uh, I could add more filtering myself. There is a, a capacitor on the board but obviously it's not taking all the interference out but it's pretty good. Not too worried about that. Good stuff. That's cool. It's not bad for analog. And I'm just recording on my goggles too, <clears throat> which are not brilliant. So there we go, it does work. I think uh, SpeedyB intended to have it out in INAV 7 like they said in the manual but uh, didn't quite make the cut I don't think. Uh, so you have to either wait for 7.1 or download the uh, SpeedyB's version of um, 7 with pin in out on their website. This is pretty cool. Good stuff. Still, I prefer digital. Um, digital switching would be really nice but analog switching is what we've got for the very inexpensive price. Ooh, that was close. Very good. Now until INAV 7.1 comes out, you'll need to go to the SpeedyB website and uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom and there you will see the uh, firmware for INAV7 with pin in out. There's the manual as well. There's the RG Pilot firmware but we're going to download that one. Then we can connect up to INAV 
actually go to firmware flasher, connect the board in DFU mode, and you don't need to select anything there. All you're going to do is load firmware local, uh, speedy B wing with pin out hex. So load firmware local, choose that one, then flash your board with that um, local file. Then you're right to go with user switching. Go to the modes page, scroll all the way down, and the user one, user two, and user three will show up down here. Now, they weren't there before. Uh, but now we've got user 1 and uh, we assign it to a channel. Here's mine working. I've got it on a momentary switch. Channel 13. And that's switching from one camera to the other. Video format, you can leave it on auto, but you do have to make sure both of your cameras on either PAL or NTSC. Both of mine are on PAL, so, but it seems to work on auto anyway. So there you go, that is camera switching with the Speedy B F405 Wing Mini Board. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.